Hey everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with NVIDIA Shield Zone. I'm going to show you how to use a regular Chromebook. This is the Toshiba Chromebook. I'm going to show you how to use the Chromebook to stream your PC games and turn the Chromebook into something other than just a big browser. So check this out. You're going to have to download Moonlight Chrome Alpha 3. It's a CRX file, so it's an extension file for Chrome. Then all you need to do, I think you'll have to have developer mode on. I haven't tried it the other way. Drag that into your extensions and drop it. And it will install. You need to go ahead and say add app. And you should see the moonlight icon appear inside your apps. So I can close everything else out down. And go to the moonlight app. And it will try to you can do some basic settings here it'll try to ping your network and see if it can find a um, machine I've got two steam machines my son's playing on that one right now so I'm Hello. gonna use mine now it's gonna ask you to pair so you'll have to go to your computer that's running right just like um, you would if you were pairing any other device and you have to type in the code to pair it In this case it's three three two seven Oops, did I not do seven there we go. Once you're done, Chrome will pick up that computer, or the Moonlight app will pick up that computer. And when you connect, let's see, the UI is not supreme, okay? This is a very, very much an alpha. All of the games that you have available will be available here. And let's say, for example, one of my favorite, well, one of my all-time favorite games is Witcher 3. I'm going to go ahead and hit Run. And just so you can see what's going on, you can see down there it says it's running Witcher. And uh, on the screen up here, of course, it'll also flip into game stream mode. I'll just keep going back and forth so you guys can kind of see it. This takes a few moments to initialize so I don't freak out. Now I know what you're thinking. You have to play with the keyboard. The answer is you can, but you do not have to. You can actually plug in a controller like a 360 controller. I actually have a Wii Classic controller with a Mayflash adapter. Ooh. It's not that big of a deal. I just want to see. Yeah, I know. You're just dying to be in my video. Anyway, so as you can yeah, see it's here, not popular. as you can see, uh, I've got a Mayflash controller with a USB. I'm going to plug this in. The controls aren't perfect, but it's good enough for a demo. I'm going to shut this light back off, get rid of the glare. All right, so now as you can see up on my computer, I've got it running. And it is nice and neatly down here on my Chromebook. So I'm going to go ahead and get this party started. Now everything you're seeing and hearing is on the Chromebook. Let's see if I can get more volume out of this. Oops. Can't see anything. Yeah, if you want it louder, wear headphones. Here, I'll move this in. I'll zoom it in now that you can be sure that I'm not tricking you and it's actually running on a Chromebook. Now, this is running off Wi-Fi, of course. Um, and it's running at seven. It's running at 60 frames, 720p, 10 megabits. And unfortunately, I also have the game loaded where I have a, uh, I have a cat's eye potion, which makes everything super bright. Let me load up a different uh, save game, something that's a little more um, easier to see. Just a moment here. The curse that held him up proved hard to lift, but Jennifer and the Witchers managed to do it. The blah, 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 blah. Move on. Not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Come on. For this was his name. Avalach. Was the elven mage who had helped Siri with the hunt, then hidden Move away. along. The Isle of Mist. The Isle of Mist. I just want you guys to see this thing actually running around in combat and whatnot. Oops, forgot the buttons are just slightly wrong here. Save yourself! <laughs> right. Whatever, save yourselves. Where's my run? Let's fight. Jump. There we go. As you can see, she runs pretty good. Be better if I had a better controller. Look at that, it looks great, right? 
suddenly your Chromebook is more than just for browsing websites. So how do you get out of here? Well, you can exit the game. Now remember, this is alpha, so it's not a perfect product yet, but it's enough to where you can actually get some use out of it. So we're going to quit the game, and it's possible the game stream won't reset on its own. Um, it's happened before. It looks like this time it might actually reset on its own. So let's try something else, shall we? Let's see, what else is something that's kind of fast action? Um, something that's a little bit faster. Okay, what about Doom? The latest and great... Well, that takes forever to load. Let's not do Doom. What's something that's fairly fast? Um, let's see. Well, what about the Steam interface itself? Let's take a look at that. See if it'll fly into big picture mode for us. If not, I'm sure we can put it there. And again, if you see something like this happen with this game stream hanging, you can actually physically um, go in and, and uh, disconnect it. I see it's getting ready to work now, though. There we go. Now we're in big screen mode. So now we can use it just like we would on our TV. So you have access to all your stuff. That's um, Yeah, I'm going to set this up on your Chromebook so you can play your games from... And there I can on the just TV. Lay my bedpipe bow from finally. Yeah, it's great. Relaxing. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a nice big sloth child. Yeah. Ah. So anyway, as you can ah. see, it works pretty well. Let me see. Um, PS games horror. Uh, how about installed? There we go. I don't have leg room here. Ow. Yeah, life's rough. First oh, world problems. There we go. All right. So let's see. Oh, see now, City Skyline would be amazing to play on here. Keyboard mouse game. That's fine. So I'm going to actually use a keyboard and mouse. Launch game anyway. So using the Chromebook, this would be a perfect game to use because it actually uses the keyboard and the mouse. So let's uh, quickly load this up real quick. Take a look. This is a great game, by the way, if you haven't played it. I need a controller for playing. Yeah, yeah. Using a mouse, keyboard. And well, that's stuff. what this game is made for. Oh, I have to log in and stuff. Uh, I have no idea what my login is for this. Well, let's try a couple things. Can't type around the camera. Is that it? Ladies and gentlemen, we do not have a connection. Let's see here. Mouse is the touchpad's very sensitive. All right, you know what? I'm not having any fun with this. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to something a little more killing related. But as you can see, there's a ton of different games you'd be able to play streaming off the Chromebook. And let me get my controller back here. See, I'm gonna have to get some more wired 360 controllers in the house. Let's see. Well, I got this just like quick and dirty. Mm, Galaxy, that'd be fun. It's a good controller game. So cool. Move along. skip everything and play the game. Now I gotta remember the controls for this thing. The recovered data shows squad member Red 3 making a micro jump to these coordinates. With luck he'll be there for pickup. I've marked the spot. 
This is our first best hope. There's gotta be missiles around here somewhere. There we go. That's it, no more missiles. What? Sorry, these controls are a little whacked on this Wii controller. So we had a little lag there. Missiles! Oh, oh gross! Well, there you go. Close enough. You get an opportunity to see something else work. All right. Well, there you go. So this is pretty simple stuff, man. There's no hacking, no installing Linux, no uh, crouton, no any of that stuff. It's pretty much straightforward. Um, you install a browser extension. It's not available on the Google Store. You'll have to download it separately. But there you have it, folks. Um, using your Chromebook to stream from your PC. Um, Welcome to the party. This is Shane R. Monroe and NVIDIAShieldZone.com.